uh, still Friday the 19th of June. You said here recording. Went up and grabbed an ear of corn. It's about two weeks from being ready. Uh, ear about seven inches long, about inch and a quarter in diameter. So two weeks. Problem is, I gotta stay in the truck. My camera keeps overheating. My corn is slapped burnt up. We haven't had any rain in 12 days. And I didn't have those chisel plows when I prepped this area. About six inches down, there's a clay bank. Pretty much on the whole damn property. I got real poor topsoil quality. So, uh, the water didn't permeate. And I got six inches of topsoil. And it is just dusty bone dry. Uh, pinto beans were 100% failure. I got maybe two dozen plants out there. It ain't enough to run the cultivator on, I know that. But a little, little corn, if we don't get rain, I ain't gonna get nothing. But that's part of it. I'm not the only one going up there to Idabel, Oklahoma to that auction. There was a lot of corn acreage they simply plowed under and they're replanting and uh, saw some soybeans and a whole lot of cotton. There wasn't hardly any corn to speak of, maybe a couple hundred acres. Usually there was a couple thousand acres going up there. So it failed up there too. This is dry land farming. Not a lot of people can irrigate. I'm not going to irrigate one acre patch, I'll guarantee you that. There's no water close. So, the corn done dried up. So this fall, I'll hit it with a chisel plow. If I don't like that result, I've got a uh, double barrel triple shank ripper that rips two foot deep on my dozer. I'll bring my dozer down here to this patch and bust up with that dozer. Uh, Crisscross patterns is going to take a while. But it's only a three shank. But when I do something different, uh, get the water to stay in the soil. So, we'll probably be back up tomorrow and do more mowing and such. I got way up too hot up there at that auction. But anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.